in the quiet shallows of the lagoon, we find ourselves captivated by a simmer, shimmer of light. The green chromis moves as though suspended in light, each one gliding with effortless grace. Their motion draws us in. A soft choreography shaped by instinct and by the sea itself. And for a moment, we are left to believe in the myth of perfect harmony, the myth of the school. In the open waters of the Solomon Islands, these fish gather not in tens, but in thousands. A swirling mass of emerald and silver, shifting and turning as if guided by a single hand, the hand of the Almighty Creator Himself. This great assembly is their shield. A collective defense against the many hunters of the reef. But here, with the smaller boundaries of a biotope aquarium, the rules of the wild began to change. Space is finite. Territories overlap. And the calm unity we see in the vast ocean becomes something far more delicate. The green chromis is built for open water. His body is slender, tapered at both ends, a shape perfected for long, efficient travel. With each flick of the fin, it cuts through the water, expending almost no energy at all. In the wild, this design allows it to roam widely moving freely across the reef. But water is dense, far more so than air. Every movement, every twitch of muscle requires effort. And when a fish is made from the hands of God for open space, is placed in a smaller, more intricate world, the cost of each decision grows. Here, they must navigate obstacles, defend small areas, and move with greater caution. They are no longer swimming. They are surviving. In time, another force was already in this fragile balance a coral beauty angelfish. Not a violent predator, but a presence that carried a lot of weight. The Chromis felt him long before they saw him. A single dominant fish can alter the entire mood of a community. And fear, even when subtle, can shape behavior in profound ways. To restore peace, the bicolor angel was removed. The structure of the environment itself had been changed. The rocks were open, creating new pathways. The space was expanded, allowing the chromis to move more freely. With greater room to roam and the pressure diffused, the tension within the group began to fade. In time, the school found its rhythm once again. And so, out of struggle, a new kind of balance emerged. A quiet treaty between biology and the boundaries we created for it. What began as a simple aquarium has now grown into a sanctuary, a biotope, a place where instinct, structure, 
and harmony coexist. I'm John Jr., and this is the Resilient Reef Biotope. Take care of yourselves. God bless, and goodbye.